Hi, I'm Joseph Russell, author of the Skyrim follower mod Lucian, and today I'm going to walk you through my process for recording dialogue. So we're going to start out here in the creation kit, where I've currently got Lucian's ESP open. Now, the eagle-eyed viewers among you might notice that I'm using the 64-bit version of the creation kit. That's the one for Skyrim Special Edition. And I'm using it with Nukem's CK Fixes mod. Now, that is invaluable for making sure you're using a stable, reliable version of the CK that isn't just going to crash on you at some crucial moment and lose all your progress. And it also comes with a whole bunch of nifty features, like this Show Only Active Forms checkbox. So if we take that, You'll see it hides all the records apart from the ones that Lucian edits, and that is just so helpful for making sure you're getting to the actual stuff you want to work with. Um, so you can see here that we've got all the quests open, and that these are Lucian's quests, and we're going to open the JR Lucian follower quest, which contains all his general dialogue. And we're specifically going to go to his hello records, which is in the misc section, and they are basically anything he might say when you go up and greet him in conversation. So we've got what can I do for you, my friend? Yes, my friend. Good to see you. And all that sort of thing. So the lines we're going to be working on today are new ones for version 1.5.0. And that's, how are you doing, my friend? Hi. And aren't you <clears throat> cold? So how are you doing, my friend? We're going to use in situations where, well, we're making sure that Lucian's the one saying it. We're making sure he's not sneaking because it's not a whisper line. And that applies to all of these lines. And we're checking the approval variable, which is Lucian's special personality variable, to make sure that he likes you. Uh, and that he likes you enough to call you my friend. Hence, we've got a high value of 70. High, on the other hand, he doesn't have to like you so much to say that. He just has to not actively dislike you. And for that, we're going for a low approval value of 20, which you can only get to if you make some decisions that he really isn't keen on. And then the final one is one that I've come up with for if you're approaching Lucian while in a state of undress. So for that, we're using, again, the checking it's Lucian, checking he doesn't hate you, checking he's not sneaking conditions, along with making sure the player currently isn't wearing any clothes. So there we go. Those are the lines. And we're now going to jump into Cubase, which is the recording software I prefer to use, and record the lines. You don't have to use Cubase. You could use Audacity or any other kind of recording software, really. But this is the one I find easiest to work with because it came with my mic and it's just really handy for loads of different things. So, let's get started. How are you doing, my friend? Hi! Aren't you... <clears throat> cold? And there we go, we've got all the lines right there. So now, we're going to want to export them. So to do that, I'm just going to highlight them with this thing, try and make it nice and tight so that we don't have unnecessary pauses before and after the line. I'm just going to zoom in to make sure I'm not clipping anything off, which I'm not, which is great. There we go. We'll go with that. And I'm going to go File, Export, Audio Mix Down. We're going to call this one Lucian Hello. Uh, how are you doing, my friend? And then we're going to hit export. Fabulous, that's one down. The next one was this high, which was the second one we recorded. This is just JR Lucian, hello, high. Export. There we go, that one's done. And then the final one we had was. Aren't you <clears throat> cold? So we'll start it there and it there. Lucian, hello, cold. Export. Now, each of these are also applying a compression system that I already set up. So you can see here the insert I'm using. Um, so it's just a fairly standard thing I found online. There's lots of different ones you can use. But what this just does is levels out the dynamic range slightly so that when I'm, if I'm too loud when I'm talking, it just bumps it down a little bit uh, so that it means the quiets aren't too quiet and the louds aren't too loud uh, to try and make a consistent volume level for Lucian. So we've exported those three lines. So now we're just going to bring them up here. So this is my archive where I exported the lines to. So you can see the three lines there. So I'm just going to drag them across from there into the right place in the data folder. 
uh, and the data, sound, voice, the name of the ESP, and then the voice type we're using, which is JR Lucian Voice. I'm just going to drag those across, copy them in there. We've now got those three lines. We now need to rename them so that the game will recognize them. So we're going to find the first one. How are you doing, my friend? And if we open it up like this, you can see here the voice file name. And this is the name the game is expecting that the line should have. So we're going to copy that. And we're going to go to... How are you doing, my friend? Rename it to that, like so. And then... We're going to reopen it again, and you can see here now we've got this little Y here where previously it was N, and that's just making saying that it's got the WAV file that it was looking for. So we can now generate the lip sync for that by clicking on it, clicking generate lip file from WAV, and then clicking the box. And if we OK that and open it again, you can see it's also now generated a lip file, which we can see here as well. I always open the wrong one. There we go. There's the lip file which corresponds, name the same thing, but with a dot lip instead of dot wav. And that'll mean Lucian's lips will move in line with the words that I said. So that's great. We're just going to do it again for hi real quick here. Always have to OK it and then open it again in order for it to detect the line. It's a bit annoying, but there you go. Could be worse. And then finally, the cold line down here. Now this one, just to demonstrate something later on, I'm not going to generate the lip for it. So let's just say I've forgotten to do the lip. So now when we actually play in game, you'll see that Lucian will, the sound will be heard when Lucian's saying the line, but his lips won't move and that would look really weird. So now we've done each of those lines and they're all set up. The next step is to normalize them. So to do that, we're going to open Audacity. Now, normalization is what you use in order to make sure the volume is consistent across all your different lines of dialogue. So Sarah was whispering for one line and another line I was talking really loudly like this. You want them all to be audible in game. You don't want any of them to be too loud or too quiet. So this is an automated process you can do with Audacity in order to make sure that all those lines are roughly the same volume. So we're going to go to File, Import, Audio, navigate to the JR Lucian Voice folder and in the Data folder, which is here. So these are the three lines we just recorded. I'm going to hold down Shift and highlight them all and hit Open. And we've imported all three of these lines separately into Audacity at the same time. I'm then going to go Control and A to highlight them all, go to Effect, normalize and we get this little box here so we've got remove dc dc offset we don't really need to worry about that that was if there was some kind of electrical noise or something uh causing there to be a consistent shift here we're not fussed about that um but what we are fussed about here is normalize maximum amplitude to minus 3 db so this is saying what volume level do you want to normalize it to if we left it at zero it would normalize all three lines to the absolute maximum they can be without clipping or without distorting I found for experience minus 3 dB is about right for when I'm recording, for making the voice lines sound just right, just the right level of audibility in game. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to hit OK. And you'll see instantly they've all, the amplitude of each of the waves has increased significantly. So now that is all roughly the right level. So we're going to do Control and A again. File, export multiple. Make sure I've got the right location selected for the export location, which is the JR Lucian voice folder, so that's fine. Um, and then we're going to make sure I overwrite existing files as checks. I'm just going to hit export. Successfully exported the three files. They're all there still as they were before, but they've now been updated, and these are now louder. And then um, what we're going to do next is now back them up because that's very important. Before we do the next step, we're gonna, I have a sounds archive folder here where I just keep the, le the lips and wabs for all my files, just in case anything should happen to them during the process. Uh, and then I'm gonna open this thing called the Yakitori's Audio Converter. I'm gonna link all these bits of software in the description here so you can find them if you want. This is the audio converter. And what this does is it turns them from wabs and lips into a much more efficient file type, which is the .foos. Uh, that's one of Bethesda's proprietary 
file types, I believe, that they use to, um, uh, yeah, to compress all the WAVs and LIPs into one file. So if we go open folder, again, Jarl Luskin voice folder, okay. We've got all three files queued up there. We can see it has LIP, exists, exists, none. That's the one we forgot to record the LIPs for. So I'm gonna go ahead and click convert with the input format to .wav and the output format .foos, making sure that lip required is selected there. If I just do that, you'll see here we are, error, unable to convert, sound file, necessary file is missing. It's detected that the lip file was missing and spat out an error warning. So that there tells me I forgot to do the lip. So I'm now gonna go back into the creation kit again. I'm gonna go and find the one we forgot to record, which was aren't you a hem cold? Just gonna select it from web, generate lip. Should be done now. There, we've now got a lip along with the two fooses that we generated. Back into Yakitori, I'm gonna reselect the one that came up with an error and hit convert again. This time it's worked and we've got the final foos file. So now we're gonna go ahead and delete the wabs and lips because we don't need them anymore. They're now entirely replaced by the dot fooses. Oh, just for reference, if you look at the file size on the right, you can see that the fooses are much smaller in size than the lips and webs that went together to make them up. So they're just really efficient. So we're now gonna delete those files that we don't need. They're gone. We've got our three fooses. We're gonna close Cubase because sometimes that can cause problems with volume when we're actually playing in game if that's open in the background. So that's gonna close, gonna close Audacity. Don't save because you don't wanna, don't need that. Close Yakitori. Now the final thing before I test this in game is I'm gonna shift all these lines, the three ones that we wanted up to the top. Now I'll just explain here what's going on with these flags. So if we've got all of these up at the top, there we go. Now you'll see most of them have this R flag, that means they're random. So when you talk to Lucian, he'll randomly pick one of these lines which is what we want. But some of them are flagged with E. E means random end, which you use to signify the end of a random stack. I use them just as a reminder for me uh, that I haven't recorded dialogue yet for that line. So if it's flagged with E, I, I know I still need to make wabs and lips for them. Uh, and then once they're done, I just uncheck random end and it turns back to an R. And then they all behave properly in the game. And the other flag is this O24 here on the aren't you a hem cold because that is a, it's a specific slightly more memorable line and that's gonna be more annoying if that repeats more often in the game. So I've set 24 hours till reset there to mean it can't repeat more than once per 24 in-game hours, which makes it a bit more bearable. And then I'm actually gonna reset this aren't you a hem cold line back to being a random end, just so that when the game comes to the hello lines here, uh, it starts off with, how are you doing, my friend? Moves down onto the high, moves down to, aren't you a hem cold? Sees that end flag, and that means it'll only randomly select a line from one of these three, which will be really helpful for us in testing whether the lines actually work. So I'm gonna press okay. I'm gonna save, very important, don't forget to do that. And then we're gonna test them out in Skyrim. So here we are in game, here's our friend Lucian. Now before we go and talk to him, let's just really quickly pop our clothes off, which isn't something I ever expected to say in one of these videos, but hey ho, let's go and see what he says. How are you doing, my friend? So that one works. Bye for now. Try another one. Hi, hi. That one works too, two out of three. Right behind you. Aren't you <clears throat> cold? Oh, it's so satisfying when it works properly. There we go. Looks What's like next? they all work. So that just about brings us to the end. Really hope you enjoyed this little glimpse into how I make Lucian. If you did, do give the video a like. I'm hoping to make more of this sort of thing in the future. A little sort of tutorial-y, behind the scenes -y looks at the mod making process. Uh, if you'd like to keep up with that, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And please don't feel in any way obliged, but if you could be kind enough to consider checking out my Patreon, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. See you again soon.